Our wall framing is in place and our loft framing is complete, so today we're ready to start installing the trusses. Based on the size and shape of this roof, it's kind of a complicated roof structure. Uh, it does lend itself to the use of trusses because of the open spans and a lot of the features we want to get into the home itself. Normally, it be, being stick frame, we would have some large members spanning the ridge beams, ridge, ridge rafters, and other components that would be good sized lumber, very heavy, and doesn't take advantage of what we can do through trusses. Trusses kind of keep it a lightweight system. We use less material. We're able to get it done in a shorter time frame. And also with trusses, we allow for areas for running ductwork, mechanical, electrical, things through there where we have the voids where we're not cutting through members, we're not furring down ceilings and things. And so we're taking advantage of what's in place there to kind of create a nice feature and space in the home itself. Roof trusses are fabricated off-site. Uh, it's a process where the shop drawings are developed. The roof is divided into components, so everything is, the various members are sized and fabricated off-site to be shipped here. And we have drawings that have show how everything's gonna go and assembled and be set in place. Sections that were too large to ship here as one unit are gonna be fabricated and assembled right outside the home here and will be lifted in place with the crane. There are a lot of smaller sections that are repetitive that were able to be trucked out as one unit and they're gonna be lifted into place as a unit. Some of those where they're smaller over gables and dormers, they'll probably assemble four or six of the trusses together and lift them in place as one complete unit. The nice thing and interesting thing about these trusses, we're all two by four members. Uh, this lightweight members, the trusses are lightweight, but we're able to span at 24 inches on center. So we're able to span a big distance using lighter members of wood framing, and we still have the strength and resistance that we need for a roof and wall and ceiling framing. This is something that it's, a lot of people think it's more for repetition in homes. Obviously we don't have a lot of repetition here. This is kind of a complicated roof structure, but trusses did lend themselves to this design of the home. So it's just knowing that and taking that, those steps necessary to explore this as an option is something that I think that more people should take an interest in doing. It uses less material, as material costs go up, these are solutions that are very reasonable, a way to approach the construction of a home.